Welcome to session 14 on quality control and improvement using Minitab. I am Professor Indrajit Mukherjee from Shalya SMA Plus School of Management, IIT Bombay. So, previous session we are discussing about process capability. So, in that case CP and CPK indices we have seen. So, uh, now in this session we will discuss more about this capability index and for that some other measures which are also used in uh, in uh, production flow or uh, personals who are in quality sometimes in industry we will find some other measure which is also uh, reported like that. So, we will talk about that now and in case uh, normality assumption fails what work people does uh, that also we will try to see ok. So, uh, so this is the process capability index what we have seen over here. So, a minute I have reports this these are the values. So, standard deviation within uh, what is reported over here what you can see. Uh, uh, sorry, this is the standard deviation within and this is standard deviation overall. So, this uh, standard deviation within I told that this is calculated by this formulation for a subgroup size and this standard deviation overall what you see is basically uh, sample standard deviation. So, that expression of S calculation what you see is square root of x minus x bar <coughs> whole square by n minus 1. So, this is the formulation for standard deviation overall and uh, and this standard deviation overall is sometimes used to calculate another index which is similar to CP and CPK. So, this is CP and CPK index for that ring uh, dimension which is a nominal dimension of 74 plus or minus 0 0.035. So, uh, this was the problem and uh, in this case uh, because everything was fine we saw in uh, in uh, control chart uh, all points are falling. So, it is a stable process that we assume. Uh, we can also calculate uh, uh, another index which is known as uh, PP process performance index and this is also PP and PPK index over here like capability index this is known as performance index. So, in this case also uh, and here uh, formula remains same. So, PP will be equals to delta divided by 6 uh, multiplied by uh, standard deviation estimation over here. Estimation will be only equals to so, this will be replaced by S. And uh, and this is the long term process standard deviation what this says ok. So, only estimation of this sigma will change. So, similarly uh, in PP case like CPK uh, we can calculate PP case over here and here also only thing that will change in the formulation is instead of R bar by D 2 what we will do is that we will replace with S. So, uh, that will be replaced by S and we will do the calculation and Minitab does it automatically for you here also PPL, PPU. PPK will be calculated. So, that will be reported over here. So, process performance index is around 1.14 what was calculated and uh, uh, CP index was 1.17 which is somewhat higher than 1.14 and the distribution is more or less uh, you can see that uh, and the variation also very less differs between this value and this value because uh, whenever the uh, they are uh, within control in in control in that case overall and within does not differ much. So, in that case PP index and CP index more or less will reflect uh, very near values like that ok. Uh, so, uh, so then what will happen is that. So, this is another index that is reported. So, uh, in case data was not collected based on uh, control chart sometimes what we do is that uh, we report PP and PPK index in the industry also ok. So, uh, certain scenarios will be there. So, how do we do that and then we will have over here what you see is that. Uh, one is known as uh, expected performance, expected overall performance, expected within. So, expected within is based on the calculation like uh, uh, what we do Z calculation like this. Uh, this is based on uh, that USL what I told that one sided uh, X bar by uh, sigma estimation over here. This will be done by that R bar by D 2 formulation and this part what you see will be done by overall estimation and this will be done by S using S estimation over here. So, instead of sigma estimation will be based on S or overall standard deviation you can say process standard deviation. Generally, how we calculate process standard deviation given a set of data, how do you calculate process standard deviation that is S expression what we use ok. So, uh, this is also reported over here in Minitab. So, performance overall performance expected performance within both will be reported and PPM will be reported over here. Total PPM in case of this is around 605 uh, overall performance and this can be uh, we can say this is a long term performance sometimes they write and this is short term performance what you can see over here. So, 502 uh, if you take a small uh, snapshot like that and go to the process using control chart. So, in that case you get short term. 
uh, capability uh, measures and if you if you uh, if you consider that this is um, variability I will take overall variability like that irrespective of the control chart. So, in that case what we will do is that uh, we will report this PP and PPK indices, but always people prefer to use uh, stable process and report the capabilities like that ok. So, uh, here is the diagram where you can see that uh, this is a short term snapshot what you see over here and long term variability is this much what you see over here. So, uh, this is S estimation and for this work what we are doing is R bar by D2 calculation we are using to estimate sigma over here. So, this two differentiate differentiates short term and long term process performance like that ok. ok. So, when I am ca uh, reporting capabilities I am talking about short term capability and based on control chart CP, CPK. When I am reporting process performance it is based on S estimation and this is long term performance what, what we can say ok. So, many have also understands uh, to report this one as short term and long term performance like that ok. So, uh, this is what Minitype does and the, uh, this what you can see is that both centering and variability both are considered when I even when I am reporting CP and PPK both indices uh, we are considering basically and PP and PPK only considers uh, the variability over here S estimation uh, and uh, uh, only the estimation of sigma will differ uh, only variability is considered over here with respect to so voice of the customer by voice of the uh, process like that. Here also x double bar is considered. So, a centering is considered over here. So, center values is important. Uh, so, accuracy precision both are taken care of CP and PPK indices like that. So, we prefer to use CP, CPK index, but sometimes we report PP, uh, PP, PPK index also and uh, and uh, that is the way uh, Minitab also reports like that. So, if you go to uh, Minitab over here and you do the analysis let us say for the uh, ring uh, dimension over here you go to stat what you have to do is that uh, quality tools capability analysis normal capability analysis. So, this is uh, ring 1 to uh, ring 5 and I replace the data set over here. So, this is 73 again I am writing down as 965 and this is uh, 74.035 and then I change the option over here and I also include overall analysis over here. So, parts per million capability index. So, uh, this I include over here. So, I need PPM and all this calculation. Then I click OK over here and then estimation what you can do R bar I am using over here. So, sample size is more than 5 uh, subgroup size. So, in this case OK I will do and if you want to store you can store this data set also. So, this can be stored over here and this will be stored in column C 15 like that. So, this will be stored. So, I do not want to store anything at this time point. So, uh, what I can do is that I can and no transformation uh, I am assuming the normal distribution assumption. So, I am not doing any transformation over here uh, to convert into normal normality assumptions to to uh, to adhere to normality assumption. So, that I am assuming that this is ok and I will click ok over here. What I get is this type of uh, diagram and this what you can see is that. So, uh, standard deviation overall you can see as 0.01 and standard deviation within also within means R bar by D2 and this is S estimation overall and based on that PP estimation PPK estimation is 1.11 and CPK estimation 1.33 because the process is stable both the measures are more or less coming out to be same and that is what is expected like that. So, formulation only differs. So, expected within observation expected overall. So, PPM is Z is defined because of normal distribution and based on the Z we can calculate how much fallout. Uh, outside USL and LSL like that. So, that can be calculated like that, that can be calculated over here ok. So, uh, that is uh, what I wanted to uh, express uh, and uh, uh, other calculation over here anything that I have missed let me just check. So, this is 6. So, CP, L, CPU both side specification similarly PP, L and PPU is reported over here and PPK index is calculated like that ok. And similarly, what we can do is that uh, the other other data set we, we can see that one also uh, quality tools capability analysis for the next one or maybe uh, uh, we can we, we have already seen six pack. So, we I, I do not want to show it again. So, uh, capability analysis normal over here. So, in this case container 1 to uh, container 5 again we are taking this one and let us try to set this as 200 which was the specification that is mentioned and uh, estimation over here remains same and options over here target I have not given. So, within and overall we want to see I click ok and I click ok what will happen is that 
uh, the because this is one sided again p p lower will be calculated p p k index will be same as lower one because there is only one measures we are calculating lower upper is not there. So, only one measure and minimum of that is only 0 0.67 that is reported over here. Similarly, C p l will be the C p k values over here. So, what you see expressed over here is similar like C p k index that we have seen ok. So, that uh, we wanted to uh, explain and then uh, in case uh, this was a this was a second case that we, we are reporting over here and this is one sided. So, uh, so, lower specification is this anything below this will be rejection like that. So, this we, it has to be higher than this one. So, uh, this is one sided specification generally that uh, minimum this much is the strength that is required 200 psi that is mentioned over here. And for that how to calculate process capability only thing is that that you see that normality assumptions is more or less satisfactory seems to be satisfactory over here, but we can check always normality assumptions like that. So, uh, and then uh, this is the overall analysis of the two data set that we are having and based on z calculation we can see. Uh, and z uh, another important concept that comes into uh, that we can see in Minitab also is uh, sigma level and z benchmark. So, uh, Minitab also reports a value which is z benchmark. So, if you have understood the z calculation if this is the normal distribution what happens is that Minitab uh, first calculates the value of z 2 over here then many types calculate this is the specification like in piston ring uh, this is uh, this is x double bar is calculated 74 point something and the usl is also given like 74.035 and based on that i can calculate a z2 because this x double bar is known and s can be calculated based on r bar by d2 over here and this will give you some z value and if i can get the z value we can get always probability of z greater than z value this z2 values over here and then what what we can do is that I can calculate the probability and from there we can also calculate ppm level over here. how many people how much parts per million is uh, defects that is coming out of the process. Similarly, on this side also we can calculate defects and that will be parts per million that is reported by Minitab. So, uh, so uh, this will be this uh, z value what do you see. So, it will be written as z usl uh, z dot usl and this will be z dot lsl like that and it will report a z benchmark. So, this report a z benchmark and based on the calculation of s it will report as short term z benchmark and long term z benchmark like that. Minitab will report that to you and uh, short term uh, what does it mean is that uh, z benchmark. The, so, uh, it means that uh, this is equals to when you when you put all the rejection level in one side. So, it will place Minitab will calculate like uh, whatever uh, proportion non confirming on this side non confirming on this side. So, it will just uh, sum this up a plus b over here and then it will place in one direction like that. So, all a plus b will be put over here uh, and then it will calculate what is the corresponding and z and that will be the z benchmark over here. So, that will give you z benchmark and that concept is used to define the sigma level uh, in many type like that ok. Uh, z benchmark short term is the uh, sigma level of the process that is the sigma level of the process like that. And we have in Minitab we have options to uh, do that one, we have options to do that one. Let us try to see in Minitab how it is possible. So, this concept is used and then uh, what we can do is that we, we will just close this one and then we go to this one and uh, quality tools uh, capability analysis again normal assumptions over here. So, we will do the ring one first and we click this one and select this one and we have taken 73.965 and this is 74.035 and uh, options over here uh, target value was 74 what we have mentioned. So, here instead of capability stat let us go to z benchmark like that which is the sigma level Minita will mention this as sigma level of the process. So, this is the way people calculate sigma level. So, uh, when we say uh, how many sigmas. Uh, so, it means that uh, basically how much how much uh, uh, we have this uh, when I when I single handed when, when I draw this one how much standard deviation total total uh, rejection over here what is the this is the z benchmark basically. So, how much standard deviation from the central line over here. So, x double bar from here and that is the equals to sigma level basically this is ok. So, that concept is used over here and uh, what uh, what we see is that when when I do this one uh, benchmark z sigma level I click ok over here and uh, I do not want to store estimation everything is fine. So, I will click ok and I will click ok 
and then Minitab will report uh, the statistic what you see. So, it has reported that ZLSL, so that is the ZLSL over here, uh, how much is the fallout like that and corresponding Z value is 3.55, Z USL is 3.32 and when you convert all the defects in one direction like that and the Z benchmark value is coming out to be 3.22 and assuming that this is overall capability what you see and this is within capability what you see like that. So, more or less it is same because there is little shift in the means like that and we are assuming that uh, process is stable. So, that is why both values are very close what you see and uh, uh, potential within capability this is a short term uh, capability what you see CPK. So, generally people tries to uh, note this down uh, Z 3.29 ok and uh, this is uh, the corresponding sigma level what the reports like that. So, around 3 sigma level. So, uh, what we can what we can see is that uh, and uh, CPK multiplied by 3 will give you Z benchmark like that. So, you can just cross check like that uh, whatever outputs we have got CPK multiply it with 3 more or less you will get near to this values like that. So, uh, that is only approximation I am saying. So, CPK multiplied by 3 will give you Z benchmark like that and uh, in long run what this says is that this Z, Z benchmark short term what we are calculating uh, using R bar by D2 and uh, sigma so that calculation of sigma that is the sigma capability of the process and also there is the assumption that process mean shifts like six sigma uh, uh, principles what they say is that process mean can shift from one end to the other end uh, up to 1.5 standard deviation. So, that is added over here. So, uh, short term capability is just long term capability plus 1, 1.5. So, if long term if, if you cannot do control charting in that case you calculate based on sigma s s calculation and you get the z benchmark values and uh, if you add 1.5 with that you will get the short term process capability which is generally reported by six sigma people and uh, that can also be done. So, z benchmark long term you have convert into short term and that is the sigma level what you can expect like that from the process and that is the standard which which we, we can take as whether to improve or not to improve like that ok. So, uh, CPK multiplied by 3 gives you Z benchmark uh, that is the approximation what we can do and CPK 2 is the standard uh, when we are talking about sigma capability of 6 and uh, and what you what you can expect if it is a 6 sigma process that this is the accuracy level that means uh, fallout is 1 minus of that this much percentage will be fallout and parts per million it is around 3.4 parts per million. Uh, outside specification. So, 3.4 parts defects will come out of the process that 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 is very 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 much less ok ppm at ppm level is 3.4. So, that is the standard ok. So, uh, that uh, we can we can uh, note down over here and then uh, what happens is that sometimes uh, we are not able to uh, adhere to the uh, concept of uh, uh, assumptions that uh, everything the data comes from normal distribution like that. So, if it is non normal scenarios, uh, how how can we calculate the capabilities like that? I will show you a non normal uh, data set and how to prove it and and see. So, although we have not uh, done much about hypothesis testing, but I will give you a brief idea what values to see and later on we will discuss about the values when we discuss about that topic uh, and how to how to interpret that uh, values like that. Okay. So, let us take some uh, data over here which we have which is non normal basically and for that what are the options uh, used and then uh, then that data set can be used uh, whenever I, I make conversion of the data what will happen is that and uh, also I convert the specification then I can calculate the capabilities like that. So, for non normal scenarios what happens is that data is converted into uh, normal distribution and USL LSL is also converted and based on that what they does is that they calculate the capability like that. And there are different ways to transform the data into normal data sets. Uh, I am not assuring that every time it will happen, but there are two options uh, which can be explored which is used uh, to convert the data into uh, normal data. So, the one is Box Cox power transformation, one is Johnson's transformation. So, sometimes one will work, one will not work and uh, Box Cox transformation uh, if there is a uh, values are CTQs are positive values and Johnson's transformation can be positive negative any values we can do the transformation like that. So, uh, uh, so I will show you a data and we need have options how to transform an interpretation of that ok. Transformation means what I am trying to say is that 
uh, whether uh, the values y which is the CTQ over here needs a log needs a log transformation or inverse transformation or square transformation or 1 by square root transformation. So, these things will be reflected when when I use this uh, uh, some options like box cox and Johnson has family of transformation three families of transformation and it will give you the equation what transformation will convert the y into uh, normal values like that. So, that is also possible and Minidav has the option to calculate uh, capability using this transformation over here ok. So, let me take some data set first to illustrate simple data set to illustrate that uh, we have uh, we have uh, this uh, what do you call uh, already yeah. So, this is uh, what just go back to the files and then uh, what we will do is that we will open the uh, data transformation this this one this file maybe and we have some data which is non normal and how do you check first first is energy consumption what you see over here uh, is some data set what we are having over here and we want to see whether it is normal distribution or not. So, if you go to stat what we may have has an option to check whether it is normal distribution or not. I will use a specific test tool and we will do it uh, somewhat at this stage we do not want to go into hypothesis testing. We just want to see whether it is normal what is the guideline to see whether it is normal or non normal. So, I will go to normality test this is a set of data let us say energy consumption is CTQ that uh, customer is interested in and we want to see whether it follows. So, I will go to basic statistics and I will go to normality test and what I will do is that I will select this one. And there are three options over here Anderson Darling test, uh, test for normality what you see. This is Ryan's test, this is KS test, Kolmogorov's mean of test. So, I am using Anderson Darling test. So, you can use other one also options, but this is a robust one. So, I am using this one. So, I click this one and uh, as per the researcher suggestion. So, what I am doing is that I am using Anderson Darling test. And when you do the Anderson Darling test, what will happen is this, this data set is plotted and there will be a straight line like this. This was earlier known as probability plots. Uh, uh, you can, you can, uh, you may have heard in statistical course. So, what Minitab does is that uh, it calculates Anderson Darling statistics 1.43 what you see and the uh, we are interested in this p value concept over here. So, uh, although we do not understand at this present moment p values, but we will elaborate that after a uh, when we discuss hypothesis testing which will be used in design of experiments ok. So, uh, if at this time point we can remember that if the p value is less than 0 0.05 that means the data is non normal. So, simplest way to interpret this one p less than 0 0.05 uh, indicates that the uh, data is non normal data basically. So, here p is less than 0 0.05 data is non normal data is non normal over here. So, can I convert this data like that to a normal distribution it will follow normal like that. So, what we can do two options we can elaborate in minute uh, we can explore in minute app. So, one over here is that you go to control chart there is a box cox transformation that is available over here. So, I go to box cox transformation and I say this is the uh, and my cursor is over here energy consumption I want to see and subgroup size I will give one and in options what I can do is that. I can store this data set in C2 and I can check whether the data is converted into. So, conversion will be stored optimal or rounded lambda. Lambda means y to the power lambda some lambda transformation will be done on the y CTQs y is over here energy consumption like that. So, if I if I put it in C2 and if I click ok and then I say ok over here uh, what happens is that it will give you some estimation over here. So, that is optimal lambda that was calculated is estimated as around minus 0 0.0, 0 0.28 like that and it will give you some rounded values minus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.5 ok. Minus 0 0.5 in common sense means uh, 1 by uh, this will mean uh, basically. So, uh, y to the power lambda. So, over here what happens is that it is getting a box transformation is getting y to the power lambda. So, y is this one or the energy uh, energy one you can think of. So, uh, lambda is uh, coming out to be uh, minus point uh, minus point 0.5. So, lambda y to the power minus point 0.5 y to the power minus uh, 0 0.5. So, this indicates 1 by square root of y basically this is the transformation suggested by box transformation ok. So, if uh, uh, it is if if lambda comes out to be 1 that means no transformation y to the power 1 means no transformation basically 0 means uh, log transformation it means 
and uh, if it means minus 1 means 1 by y transformation that is required. So, these are the interpretation of uh, lambda over here and uh, in this uh, calculation also uh, Minitive has given you some options to explore whether it is uh, uh, this can be converted. So, 0 0.5 and this conversion is done over here and the values are given over here. So, this is uh, uh, energy consumption let us say energy consumption and uh, uh, and this may be transformed we can say transformed ok. So, we can write like that. So, let us try to see whether now it is normal or not. So, what we can do is that uh, it may work may not work like that. So, I am I am saying that after this transformation what happens uh, can you show me the uh, possibility. So, uh, when I explore this one that this transformation has worked you see uh, and now the p value is not less than 0 0.05 not less than 0 0.05 what do you see p more than 0 0.05 indicates that data is converted into normality. So, when I use a optimal lambda or lambda that is uh, suggested lambda over here uh, and uh, when I do the transformation which is C 2 column over here the data is converted into normal distributions like that. Now, I can calculate capability of this if I if I want to see the capability and I give a range of this capability means upper limit lower limit to this I can do that uh, ok. Similarly, uh, another option that can be explored over here is that I can use another function which is known as uh, Johnson's transformation over here. So, this is available in quality tools Johnson's transformation over here. You go to Johnson's transformation then you say which uh, where is the data I say energy consumption. So, can I store it will say whether you want to store that one. So, let us store this one because C 2 is blocked now we can store it in C 7 let us say. So, C 7 we will say that is stored in C 7 and Johnson's transformation and options over here is that uh, p value uh, this you can ignore at present moment take it as default and go to ok and what will happen is that it will give you some transformation over here ok. And the final transformation on y that you see is this is the function last last one what you see 1.52227 plus 0 0.43 ln means log transformation x minus of this divided by this. This is the total on y in case of x you replace that one y and then you see the initial data set was showing uh, 1.43 as Anderson Darling value and p is less than 0 0.05. So, after this conversion transformation function that was used. Anderson Darling value is saying and p value is more than 0 0.05. So, uh, we will assume that this p value we will take as a criteria if it is less than 0 0.05 non normal, if it is more than 0 0.05 it is converted into normal like that. So, whenever I convert this one I can calculate the uh, I can calculate the uh, capabilities I can calculate the process capabilities like that. So, this can be we, we can we can uh, do this analysis for this uh, sales and surface finish like that. So, for surface finish also let us try to see one more examples and uh, then stop this one and then. Uh, so, uh, in this case let us say I want to calculate the capability and uh, uh, this is a. Uh, uh, so, I want to calculate uh, because I know the data is non normal. So, let me just test the data basic statistics and we want to test uh, the data say normality of the second one surface finish over here I want to check. And I want to see and p is here also you can see less than 0 0.05. So, uh, that is the criteria I, and the data is non normal basically. So, when the data is non normal what is to be done how do I calculate capabilities like that. So, I will go to quality tools and capability analysis I will I will mention non normal I will mention non normal analysis I want to do and uh, which is the data set survey uh, this surface finish is the data set. And, uh, uh, we can we can fit the distribution over here we can fit the distribution over here. So, rather than that one what we can do is that quality tools over here capability analysis uh, normal uh, we want to convert this into normal. So, in this case uh, we will use surface finish let us say and uh, we can specify over here let us say from uh, this is from uh, 2.5 to 3.5 upper specification arbitrary I am putting over here some numbers to the surface finish data that I am having in C 5 and then uh, I suggest uh, some transformation. So, I, I suggest use box box transformation which lambda I use optimal lambda like that and then give me the capability. So, I use this one. So, here transform over here you have options no transformation, but you, I want box box transformation or Johnson's transformation I am using let us say box box use optimal lambda whatever the box box transformation suggest like that otherwise I can specify also over here. So, if I am doing this and clicking ok over here 
and uh, then in options anything else. So, uh, within and overall, so I want to calculate within overall capability. So, capability index over here and uh, then I want to calculate. So, only S calculation will differ and then in that case what I will do is that uh, I will click OK and what will happen is that. Uh, so, uh, okay, so subgroup size I have not given. So, this is one subgroup size that has to be given mentioned over here. So, I click OK over here what will happen is that this will give you some transform data USL and LSL. So, this is written as transform data you can see transform data. So, terms some transformation was used over here uh, using box of lambda transformation of 0 0.5, 0 0.5 means square transformation basically y to the power point uh, square root transformation. So, y to the power square root of y was used over here and then uh, PP and uh, PPK index CP and CPK index were calculated and the you see that LSL and USL are also changed because I have used square root transformation. So, the values are also transformed like that and accordingly uh, the data was uh, confirmed to be normal now and after the transformation and with the transformed data I am calculating the CP and CPK index like that. So, whenever you have a non-normal scenario you can use uh, this type of transformation. So, we will continue from here uh, in the two examples that we have seen uh, earlier that uh, can example and, uh, and the ring examples like that and from there again we will start. So, that will be the starting point then we will come to some other issues and quality what we can discuss. So, in next session we will do that. So, uh, what we have done is that process capability analysis then Z benchmark we have talked about and in case of non normal what are the options that we have that we try to explore in this session. We will continue this lecture from here in our next session. Thank you for listening. Yeah.